Um, hi guys again. So today I'm going to show you um, how you can actually utilize um, cloud platforms for cross platform or cross browser testing. So I'm on the saucelabs.com website. There is actually another uh, pretty f uh, popular one called browser stack. Uh, you can use either one. So this is another one. Uh, for now, I'm gonna just stick to Sauce Labs. And uh, the beauty of this cloud service is it's easy, it's really so easy to use. So for example, um, I'm a Windows user at the moment, but let's say I wanna test uh, my web application or mobile application on a Mac, or uh, let's say I'm, um, iPhone user and I want to test my application on an Android device, how can I do that quickly without actually buying the device or borrowing it from somewhere? Um, and this is the actually, this is the answer here. So um, you just need to create your account. They have, they offer a free trial. Uh, once you are there, um, you can actually, um, you can run your automated tests uh, like Selenium tests, for example, um, as well. However, they all also have this live testing. And if you go here, so I'm gonna just do web browser testing for now. This is the browser selection, as you can see, pretty much any Firefox, Chrome, Edge, Safari, IE, you can select the resolution. So for this purpose, I'm gonna do Safari. And you also need to provide a test URL which is the, I'm just gonna provide the URL of our website and just select the resolution and just clicking the start uh, session button. It takes just a few seconds. It's pretty fast actually, as you can see, this is the window right in your browser. Uh, you can actually click, this is the virtual machine. So, and this is the website indeed. So yeah, that's me. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, you can click buttons. You can make sure it's all working fine uh, or in case of defects, you can log them. It's kind of nice. Um, you can actually, you can take capture screenshots and do some stuff. This is the information. So for now, I'm gonna stop this session and do something else. So let's actually try to do mobile device as well. You can see there is tons of them available and you can actually pick from virtual or real device. So for now, I'm just gonna try, I don't know, iPhone 6, which is free. So let's try this. Okay. Yep, <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> Looks like a bug to me. Um, so let's try to do some virtual device. So these are basically emulators or simulators um, of different devices. So let's try iPhone X, for example. You can actually, um, if you need to run through the proxy, um, if you have some internal environments like dev or QA, you can actually uh, set this thing here. Uh, for me, it's just fine. So let's see how it goes. We are running iPhone X simulator on an iPhone 12.2, which is the latest basically at the moment. Um, it takes a little bit longer comparing to um, Safari. But let's just wait for a second. It actually takes way longer.
So um, it took a couple of minutes, but seems like it just hang. Okay. Um, now we can try something else. Um, like uh, Google Tixel, let's say, running on Android 8.1. Let's see how it goes. All righty, this time something is happening. All righty, so now we have this weird Android emulator. Um, and this is the website. The resolution itself, a little small, but you also have these controls. You can do column up, rotate, click different buttons, and some settings here. You can play with GPS and uh, cellular battery. Uh, you can interrupt with your phone call or SMS message. Uh, microphone, fingerprint, basically everything that makes the phone is the phone. You have access to some log files here. You can capture snapshots. You can record the video even. Just all nice. Um, and at the same time, uh, you can do mobile apps. Uh, you will need to upload your application here. And another cool thing is that you can actually see um, like some previous runs. So for example, this one, just by clicking um, from history, it will redirect you to the page, or you can save configuration and uh, watch some videos or screenshots from previous runs. And yeah, it's, oh, it's actually right here. So if you just click it, this is the video of the previous session. And these are the logs like navigate here, status, and all that stuff. Yeah, kind of cool thing. All right, bye guys.